guys, welcome back. So this time we're going to talk about Outlook and the OneDrive and how they work together to make our lives easier. So the OneDrive is Microsoft's version of cloud services where you can save information to the cloud. And it's basically like a, a hard drive you take with you as it's out. So you take your files with you wherever you go by logging into the OneDrive account on the web and all the files that you save there you can access from any computer anywhere that has an internet connection. Once you are connected like that, there's a lot of tools that are handy to you in the other Microsoft programs including Outlook. So we're going to look specifically how Outlook and OneDrive work together. So let's say I want to send an email. So I'm going to click on new email here. Get a box opened up. And let's say I want to send a file and I go to attach it and it says it's too large. I'm like, well crap, that's the file I want to send. How can I send it? Well, one way to do that would be to put it on your OneDrive so that when you go to attach the file, you're actually attaching a link versus the file itself. So when the receiver gets your email, they click on the link and lo and behold, they can access the file. This helps us get around those size restraints that we run into, especially when sending videos or, or anything large. So you're gonna click on insert and click on attach file, just like you would with your normal attachments. But this time you're going to select browse web locations, and then it's gonna list any OneDrive accounts you have linked with your Outlook. When you set up your Outlook, like we did in our, one of our first videos, we set up uh, an Outlook.com account and mine was Melcron IVC, so it immediately attached that one as one of the options. And then I have another OneDrive account that I use, and so it um, since that and it went ahead and listed that as well. So I want to use this one here. So I clicked on it. And immediately it brings up your OneDrive account. So if you have been saving documents to it already, they would all be listed here. You select which one you want to attach and you can attach it. For me, this one is pretty much bare. So the file that's in here is the getting started with OneDrive file. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that one and click on insert. And there you go, it says attached, and it lets you know it was a PDF, but then it gives this little cloud picture that tells you that it's actually a link to the OneDrive or the cloud. So it's a, fi a PDF file in the cloud. So one thing I wanna point out that's very impo important is this message right here where it says anyone can edit. Remember, you're giving a link to your OneDrive account for this person to access this specific file. So they don't have access to your entire OneDrive, just this specific file. But you may not want them to have editing capabilities. If this is the case, click the drop down arrow on the attachment itself and select to change permissions. And then you have two options. Anyone can edit, which means they can make changes to that file on your drive, or anyone can view. By selecting anyone can view, like I have just done, then the person I'm sending this to can open it and view it, but they can't make changes to the file on my OneDrive. So very important to remember that in the event you don't want it to be edited on your OneDrive account. Once you have done that, you can type whoever you're sending it to and click send. So again, very handy in the event you have larger files that you would like to share with your colleagues just to remember to change the permissions if you don't want them to be able to edit it. That's it. So I hope you found this video helpful and it's been a pleasure working with you and I look forward to hopefully having you in some of our other classes at Imperial Valley College.